Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now, as you can see, we are in the snow biome, and that is because I have not been here much on this particular PvE series. Um, I've kind of avoided the snow biome for mostly just because it's far away. Uh, but I kind of want to tame some snow biome creatures. And as you can see, we have a lovely level 110 female woolly rhino here. Um, now this is going to be very tricky because woolly rhinos are incredibly tough. Uh, but we're going to try to tame this thing and hopefully, hopefully we don't aggro another rhino at the same time because that would be terrible. Alright. Uh, now I do have... Ooh... I missed. Okay, I do have this Ascendant Long Neck Rifle, which is going to help a lot with knocking this creature down. Whoop, that hurt. Um, and luckily there are kind of a lot of rocks I can kind of dodge around in this area, which was, uh, uh the goal. No. Ouch. Ooh, that hurt. That's okay. We have good armor. No, no, no. Nope. Come back. Don't, don't be running around. No, no, no. Ow. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna knock it out. It's gonna be fine. I keep missing. This is great. <laughs> oh, the panic that always comes with it. No, it's running now. It's running now. No, not near the RGs. Uh, get stuck. Go down. One more hit. Right in the butt. Yes. Okay. It is officially down, guys. That is amazing. Um. Oh no, we have a wolf here. Ugh. We have all of the creatures. Let's just uh, do that. That's an angry Anki. It's almost dead as well. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so it looks like everything else is dead in the area, which is great. Uh, now, oh, you know what I didn't bring? Um, I thought I was going to tame a dire wolf today. I didn't think I would find a decent level woolly rhino. So I actually don't have any taming food on me at the moment. Um... That could be an issue, guys. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pick some berries, because a berry tame should work just fine. And also, I'm starving, which is great. Uh, I do have Soothing Balm on me, so hopefully it won't take too much. Uh, it is a double harvest weekend as well, so this won't take too long to pick these up. Um, oh, I am starving. The cold. It is always with the cold, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and eat these rare flowers, because they do work just fine for food. All right. Um, yeah, so this woolly rhino, um, it's actually kind of a cute brownish color. It's got a cute face. Um, it actually looks like it's pretty good. The weight on these is always really impressive to me. The stamina is terrible. The melee is actually okay. It's average. Um, and the health is actually kind of low. So the stats on these, they don't appear great, but they're just such a powerful creature at their base that they're kind of worth taming anyway, at least for PvP. Um, this is more for fun on PvE, honestly, but I do love rhinos, and so I figured we'd give it a try and uh, see see how this worked out. Um, man, I unfortunately don't have any trouble taming anymore. It would be a lot more interesting if I did, I think. <laughs> The, the rifle I have makes it so easy, and then I actually have some pretty good armor on right now, in particular. We do not probably... Whoops, you know what I should have done? Use that. There we go. Uh, we'll just give it all of these berries, and hopefully it stays out long enough. Oh. Okay, it looks like this may still take a while. That's okay, guys. That is okay. I'm going to keep picking berries here for a while. Um, I'm going to see... I'm going to see what kind of uh, increase we get for that next bite. Um, and if it is high enough, then I will bring you guys back uh, when this thing is done taming up. Because it does look like it's going to take a while, even with me running around doing stuff the whole time. Let's see. It is now soothing bombed, so it was getting not very much. So it should be getting more like 10% per bite now, if I'm not mistaken. Oh man, they, they drop hunger so slow. Ugh. I need to pick more berries in the meantime. I need to have something to do. It's okay. We'll pick this stuff up. Um, we do need to tame a mammoth as well. I think a mammoth would be really fun. 
Man, there's just a lot of creatures on here that we haven't actually tamed on this particular series. And I kind of would like to go through and tame a few of those, just for fun. Um, yeah, and I would like to do some breeding of certain creatures. Man, there's a lot of things we haven't done on this series that I just, uh, I'm kind of working up to. Okay, it looks like this is still going to take quite a while, guys. Um, I do think I have enough berries on there for it now, though. Um, so I will bring you guys back when it is up. Uh, it will take, as I said, a little bit of time, but, um, hopefully not too long. So yeah, I will, I will bring you guys back when this is up and we are ready to, uh, check it out, which actually I will need to go and get a saddle for it. So it might be a little while, but, um, I'll bring you guys back when we're there. Okay, guys, um... I brought you back a little bit early because I have some bad news. Um, a dire wolf ran up out of nowhere and went right past the Quetzal and straight for the rhino, and it hit it several times, so we lost quite a bit of taming effectiveness on it. Ugh, dire wolves, go away. On top of which, I have been attacked by not one, not two, but three Rexes, um, and there's another one over there. Hopefully it stays over there. Oh my goodness, it is weak at least. Ugh, it has been a chore. Uh, taming in the snow biome is the hardest thing because uh, there's just so many creatures. And really, the Quetzal is not fully equipped to manage all of that, uh, all of that aggro, basically, that's coming at it. Um, so I did just want to, like, let you guys know what was going on there. I am starving to death and thirsty. There we go. Okay, and uh, yeah, the Rex also broke my armor, so I now just have my helmet on, which is great, because uh, I'm freezing to death, which is, you know, it's awesome. It's great. Everyone loves to freeze to death in the snow biome. Luckily, this rhino is about halfway done, and I've killed most of the stuff in the area, so as long as I don't go out of render, um, uh, we might be okay. I'm a little bit worried about that Rex over there. It is a level 120 male... Uh, it's, it's a bit of a problem, because I feel like it's going to come over this way. And really, all I have is my sword and a helmet right now um, for defense, along with the Quetzal. I have had to chase the Rex off once already, and I really wish they would not move around so much. It's been a bit of a problem. All right. Ugh. Okay, so I think we're okay again. I think we're okay again. Maybe we should go fight the Rex. I'm a little afraid of it, honestly. It's fighting an Anki. What's its health at, actually? If its health is relatively low, I might risk it. Yeah, it's pretty low, guys. Uh, we're just gonna, like, run up there with our sword, completely naked, and see if we can, uh, kill it real quick. Because it annoys me. Yes! Okay. It did hit me once, but that's alright. We are feeding our Quetzal right now with all that. And then we'll run back to the Wooly Rhino. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love this sword, guys. I did craft up this sword just the other day. It's a um, Ascendant Sword blueprint that I got. It took me quite a while to get all the metal together, but um, uh, I do love it. It is beautiful. It is a very good sword. It has been useful up here in the snow biome. <laughs> all right, so now that we're kind of maybe safe, um, I guess I'll bring you guys back once again when the rhino is up. Uh, oh my gosh. Or after we uh, kill all of the creatures. I'm gonna help the Anki. Die. Yes. And the Anki is not mad at me. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright. It is a chore keeping this guy alive. But uh, we're gonna manage. We're gonna manage. The Rhino will grow up. It will be happy. It will be lower level than I was hoping. But uh, it's still higher level than a lot of the stuff I've tamed. So, I mean, that's that's not too bad. All right, I'll see you guys in uh, just a little bit here. Okay, guys, we're back. And today, um, I don't want to use my Ingram points on a saddle for this uh, wooly rhino that we have. And so instead, what we're going to do is buy one with the tannery. Um, whoop, I don't need to buy more cures. I need to create this saddle. There we go. Okay, so we have our Wooly Rhino saddle, which is absolutely amazing. Um, as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of a metal building and trying to increase my storage um, a little bit here at the base. I've got some metal cooking. I've been working with the, uh, the Anki a little bit. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on up here. So I'm trying to basically grind resources this weekend since it's Survival Surge. 
so that I can do um, a little bit more like dino organization. Um, maybe finish off this like crafting slash dino structure that I wanted to have built up. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully our stuff will be a little more protected because everything's kind of just wandering loose and it's not very safe right now. Um, I mean, the gigas are fine, but they're at risk of starving to death or wandering off, and I don't really want them wandering too far off. Okay. Uh, right, I need to equip it. That is a thing. It is so laggy in the redwoods, guys. I do apologize. Um, I can feel the frames coming my way. Oof, I look very yellow. That eerie candy really did me wrong. Okay. Let's, uh... Go under the gigas here and kind of run out this way. Ooh, berries. Get all the berries. All right, so we're going to run up here, and we're going to go ahead and attack this Carno. Ooh. All right, man, rhinos are great. I haven't used a rhino in a very, very long time. Um, I think I've only ever tamed them for fun before. Man, they are great. Oh, that is someone's pteranodon that's being attacked. Well, I'm glad I could save it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run up this way and destroy a few more things while we can. Um, unfortunately, we are out of stem, so that is probably gonna be what I level up on this thing. Uh, four levels already, wow. Oop. Oh, look at it. It's so cute when it levels up. Ugh, but all the ants. Okay, we need to kill the ants. I didn't know they did the rollover. That is so adorable. Oh my goodness. Um, man, it's been so long since I've used one, I completely forgot that they did that kind of thing. We're going to take on this bear. Oh my gosh. One hit. And smack. Whoop. I feel like uh, the lag did us wrong there. I'm out of stam. This is a problem. This is a huge problem. We're going to have to attack like normal. I don't like it. Ugh. We're so weak, guys. We're so weak when we attack normally. The charge attack really is uh, what gives you all of the damage on these guys. It is just absolutely amazing when you can get it going. Unfortunately, you do have to actually get it going. Alright, we're gonna run. Nope, we're out of stam. <laughs> that is the worst. I will say, that is the absolute worst. Although, I really 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 love that level up animation I think that's maybe the best one I've ever seen it even beats the bears for me guys um, and the bears do a really cute little wave ah oh man they're so strong I just love it I can imagine how much damage these guys would do to an actual player oh my goodness they'd be great for raiding um, ugh, if I ever decide to do PvP I need to get me one of these uh... We're not going to have enough speed. Oh, we did okay. Now we've got to kill the Anki the normal way. Ugh. They also do pretty good at gathering berries. Like, you can kind of just run through a field and hit a bunch of berries and you would actually do okay. Is that Anki mad at me? It's walking deliberately toward me. Oh, it's not angry. That's excellent. I'm going to leave that Anki alone. I love when things don't get mad at me. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what else we can do here, guys. Um, oh my gosh, we are so, so broken. I wonder how much damage we do to a Diplodocus. Oh, that didn't work at all. I feel like that didn't work at all. Alright, we did some damage. We're going to get this one down. It's just going to take a minute. Ugh, there we go. Alright, so we definitely are doing over, like, 300 damage per hit when we can get a little bit of a run-up going, which is really, really good, um, honestly, for any creature. That's as strong as my dire bear is normally, and the dire bears also have kind of a charge on them. Alright, we're just leaving corpses everywhere. I should really harvest this and feed it to all my creatures. Um, the gigas are probably hungry. It's a little bit difficult keeping the gigas running um, all the time because I have three of them at my base right now. Um, and so they kind of eat everything in that little area down there. Uh, and then they're still hungry because there's just not enough food for them. Eh. It's better in the snow. Oh no! Is that a titan? 
That we're not hitting, guys. Uh, great. That's a titan. Oh. Oh, very good. I wonder if someone is attacking it. It looks like it's low health. Yeah, people are fighting it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. There's no need to get involved. Someone is killing the titan. <laughs> Did not expect that today when I walked in, but uh, it's far enough away from my creatures that I think we're okay. Oh gosh, all of the lag. It really, it drives me crazy. It's just the redwoods, honestly. Um, every time I come back towards my base, it's just so bad. And I really feel like something should be done about it. Ooh, a berry. I'm gonna kill it. Oh, we have an Arthropleura over here. I believe that is Rutrine's Arthropleura, which I also need to tame myself one of those. Um, but I think she left hers at the base here. And it's kind of just hanging out. It's been a friend. Oh, man. This is like an epic battle. Uh, who is that, out of curiosity? The new legion, Carl, soul leader. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Cool. So someone's doing a good job of killing a titan. They've got it kind of glitched into a wall there. That works just fine. Alright, let's see. Maybe we'll wander down through this part of the redwoods. Um... Maybe out towards an area that's a little bit less laggy. That would be great. Man, I do love these rhinos. Seriously, they are great. Uh, let's kill these capros. Capros are the worst. Capros are not my favorite creatures. We'll just say that. Okay, we do get stuck on rocks. I feel like the collisions could be a little better with these guys. Um, maybe it's just the area. They need flat ground. They're really a flat ground creature, and unfortunately I just can't quite get enough of a run-up to actually get any uh, damage done, and we are out of stam again. Let's let that regen for a second. And then maybe we'll go kill that berry as well. Oh, I love how powerful um, creatures are. Like... The, the difference um, for me, I think, between the beginning of the game and, like, the second you get an actually decent creature to run around on is just absolutely incredible. Um, for instance, like, I just started a new solo series uh, just last week when they brought in the difficulty changes, um, and that's been going pretty well, but, like, the amount of times I've died in the first, like, hour's worth of play of that game is just phenomenally more than I would die in this stage of this game. Even if I have nothing on me, like, I just die less um, once I'm a higher level. Uh, it's it's really strange how that works. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just luck. Maybe it's just timing. Maybe that's just the way arc works. But it always kind of amazes me how you can do so much uh, better, even just a few levels up, than uh, at the very beginning of the game. All right, we're going to keep running around here. It is getting a little bit dark here, guys. So, let's see. I think what we're going to do is run our way back around this way. Maybe we can run to this side of the swamp. I don't want to quit quite yet. I feel like we can wreck a few more things. There's probably another bear out there that needs to be taken care of. Um, ugh, the stam. The stam makes me sad. Ugh. Oh, there's a raptor. Let's kill a raptor. Because, you know, that's very strong. <laughs> that did not take long. Okay. Ugh. Up the hill, guys. We can do it. Up the hill. Alright, here we go. Whew. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Alright, so, um... Oh, yeah, I'm still picking out a few names for the creatures from last time, guys. But, um, I do love all of the name suggestions I've been getting for... The Terror Bird and uh, the Quetzal and the Tapahara and there was one more. I'm already forgetting. Ugh, my gosh. It's okay. I will remember in a little bit. Um, but I'm leaning towards uh, T-Bird for the Terror Bird. I actually think that's really kind of a, a, funny, a funny play on words, especially since uh, there was a T-Bird in my family while I was growing up at one point, um, which was kind of fun. It was a... Uh, the Thunderbird. It's a car. So um, we had one of those while I was growing up, and it kind of reminded me of that. And it made me laugh. So I might name the Terror Bird T-Bird, uh, also because T-Birds are actually much nicer than Terror Birds, which is a, a thing. Oh, we don't swim well. Oh, oh, let's, let's get across the river before I run out of stam. Actually, that's probably the best idea. 
Yeah, there we go. Forgot about the stam for a second and had a minor panic attack there, but we're good. We're all good. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'm still kind of combing through all of the name suggestions, and we did have a lot of name suggestions, so thank you so much to everyone who has made a suggestion on that last video. I am looking through those. I'm having a really hard time deciding, but um, by the next time this episode, uh, by the next episode in this series, I will have a name picked out, uh, don't worry, and I will show those off so that everyone knows what I picked. Um, that is kind of the goal. But for today, I think we're just going to focus on doing this. And actually, we're going to need a name for this rhino as well. So if you guys have any good name suggestions for this uh, beautiful, decently high-level woolly rhino, um, it is a female, again, uh, let me know your suggestions in the comments down below. I'm happy to hear them. And oh my gosh, we have really wrecked this area. And we are having so many issues getting back to base. Oof. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. We're so close. Uh, and we're out of stam. It's great, guys. It's great. Everything's fine. Alright, well, since we're close enough, um, I think I've said everything I need to say today. So, let's go ahead and end off the episode there, guys. If you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, please do remember to hit that like button. It seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Links to social media are in the video description down below, and for anyone wondering, I do play on an iPhone 8 Plus at the moment. Alright, so I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.